JBN keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news, Beachy Stout accused his wife of stealing up to $35 million from the business. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The Home Circuit Court on Monday afternoon heard the Portland businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald, who is on trial for the July 2020 murder of his wife Tonya accused her of stealing up to $35 million from the business a day after she was killed. This was revealed by McDonald's former employee turned state witness. The witness during his evidence in chief told the court that he was like a son to McDonald and that the businessman trusted him. In seeking to establish that he had a good relationship with the defendant, the witness testified that he was entrusted with Mr. McDonald's banking information and was tasked with depositing profits made from the establishment. The court was also told that the witness was initially employed as a packer on March 27, 2000 at the supermarket owned by McDonald's first wife, Marlene, who died in 2009. It was later promoted to security guard after a caught woman stealing alcohol inside the supermarket. The witness told the court that he first met Tonya in 2009 before Marlene's death that same year. He gave evidence that McDonald gave him $18,000 to purchase a cell phone for Tonya in 2009, which he collected from him before Marlene died. The Portland businessman and his co-accused, Oscar Barnes, are in trial for the July 2020 murder of his wife, Tonya. A seven-member jury, comprising six males and one female, has been selected to try the case. Justice Chester Stamp is presiding. The lead prosecutor, in her opening address to the jury, said Mr. McDonald and Mr. Barnes whose bail was revoked Monday afternoon, killed Tonya without any legal excuse. McDonald is represented by attorneys Earl Hamilton, Courtney Rowe, Christopher Townsend and John Jacob. Barnes is represented by attorney Ernest Davis. McDonald is also charged with the 2009 murder of his first wife, Marlene. He is to be tried alone for that matter in January 2024. Investigators reopened that case in 2020 following the murder of Tonya. In the meantime, months after McDonald's first wife died, the witness gave evidence that he brought Tony to the supermarket and introduced her to the staff within four months after the death of his first wife, Marlene. But he said it was after McDonald introduced Tony as Mrs. McDonald that she asserted herself in the business and began playing a managerial role. The state witness testified that he was reluctant to call Tony Mrs. McDonald. He became emotional when he was asked where Tony was today. Wiping away tears, he said he recalled visiting the crime scene with another security from the wholesale and McDonald confirming that the body was that of Tonya. He said on the night in question, he, another man and McDonald were at the wholesale when McDonald received a phone call informing him that Tonya was dead. He said McDonald exclaimed, Oh my dear, nobody not tell me say my wife can burn up and I heard from Farin. You serious? Then how she reach up there, sir? Me tell her about them man that she are keeping her. The witness said his upset boss shouted at him and instructing him to drive to the location. But before the witness, another man and McDonald left for Ferry Hill. He heard McDonald on the phone asking whether the person on the other end of the call was sure it was Tonya. The court was later told that it was a police officer who contacted McDonald. The witness said when they arrived at the crime scene, they saw the burnt motor car with fire coming from the engine. He said the air was cordoned off, but McDonald attempted to proceed beyond the yellow tape and was stopped by a police officer. The witness said it was business as usual, a day after McDonald saw his wife's partially burnt body. He said McDonald was assessing his books when he accused his wife of stealing millions of dollars. The trial continues Tuesday in the Home Circuit Court. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.